kidding me right now? This is ridiculous. You guys aren't gonna believe what I just caught. I just caught a ribbon fish in the middle of the creek. Oh my gosh, that is wild. That is crazy. I'll check this out. This guy's got some sharp teeth. This guy's got some sharp teeth. Check this guy out. All right, so I hear these are really good bait um, for a particular fish offshore like mackerel or a larger fish of the reef. I'm not really familiar with them. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys know about these. It's crazy, he just he just ate a gulp shrimp in the, in the, uh, in the middle of the creek. Um, anyway, it's got some teeth on it and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put him back in the water and be careful, so. Well, the first fish of the day, kind of a strange catch. Caught one last time we went out, um, but we were at the jetties, which is a kind of deep water, at the entrance of the harbor to Charleston. So um, kind of strange seeing them in the middle of a creek here. I didn't realize they, they came in shore like that, but hey, you know, learn as we go. Flounder, he pulled. I got him, I think I got him again. Actually, this feels like a little redfish. it is, I mean, little. Got a big profile. Smart too. Oh yeah, it's a nice redfish. Beautiful redfish. What a pretty fish. He took the minnows, the Z-Man minnows, on a finesse jig head by Ice Strike Fishing. So, let's see if I can get him in the net. Oh yeah. Wow. There he is, guys. Look at this thing. What a beautiful fish. Wow, he just laying up on the edge of the grass as the tide's coming out. I think he's just got his head up into the current looking for bait coming down the, the grass line there. All right, I'm gonna get a measure on him and try to get him back in the water pretty quick here. Okay, he's 24 and a half inches right there. Nice fish. All right guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm throwing. All right, like I was saying, this is the Z-Man, the Minnows Z. All the Z-Man have a Z in their name. Um, I got it tied to a, uh, or I got it on a um, 1 8 ounce finesse jig head. It's the two watt um, hook with, uh, this is an eye strike fishing jig head. It's really nice, I love it. It profiles very well with the Z-Man. Um, I got it tied on to, um, to a 20 pound um, fluorocarbon leader with a loop knot. Uh, that way it'll give it a nice action in the water. And then, I have a 10 pound braid um, tied onto my leader with just a double uni. Uh, nice little light setup here, St. Croix, six, six, six foot six inch rod. Um, really fast action. Uh, I love this rod, it's great for all kind of inshore stuff, sheephead uh, fishing because it's really sensitive tip. Um, uh, but also your trout, your flounder, and your redfish. Redfish are a lot of fun on this rod. 
And then we get the Battle 2 2000. This is a pin reel. It's a nice reel. Um, it holds a, a, a good deal of line for its size and the, uh, the drag is great. So uh, that's what we're throwing. I had another big bite right there. Oh yeah. Big bite. Let me try that one more time. See if you can't get that get in there without spooking. And he's on. Look at that. Nice. Nice hit too. Nice. Another red fish feels like. Oh yes. Oh, I just couldn't resist it. I just kind of skipped it up there. That way I didn't drop it behind him with like a big splash and scare him off. Yeah, these fish are just holding up right here by the grass. All right, when you're catching release with redfish, you don't want to horse them in, but you certainly don't want to let them fight too long. For especially a larger fish, you don't want to exhaust them too badly. So you want to make sure you get them out of the water and get them right back in the water if you get a catch and release in fish. It's very important to get them back in there and make sure that they're healthy and they're you know strong when you let them go. Oh, this is a nice one right here. This could be 28 inches right here, this one. Give it up. Oh yeah, nice fish right here. Might be bigger than 28 inches, guys. This could be my personal best. Look at this fish. Check out his tail. Can you guys hear him drum? He's drumming. Anyway, oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that tail. Looks like it's been brushing up against that oyster. Just kind of getting feeding away. What a nice fish right here. All right, it's always good whenever you catch a fish like that to check your leader and your knots. Just to make sure, especially when you're fishing around oysters or piers or docks or something like that. Because that leader gets chafed. You get a weak spot in your line. Next big fish you got, that's gonna be where it breaks off and it's just gonna be a, a needless mistake. There we go. My second cast after applying Procure. After about 10 casts without Procure. I had some bites, but now I've got a hook up here. A little baby, little puppy drum. It looks... Hit it again, look at that. Another red fish, a puppy drum. These fish are tearing up this meadow this morning. Okay, so let me tell you guys what we're, where we're fishing, what kind of features we have here. So we have a pretty, pretty substantially large creek here. It's close to an inlet where the water goes out into the ocean. Um, so it's pretty, like I said, it's a pretty wide creek, uh, kind of a deep creek too. So in one of the bends in the creek where it turns we're up on the uh, what, we call, what we call the right descending bank so it's kind of a deeper cut more or less like a bluff if you will kind of compared to the other side where it's more gradual kind of a mud flat on the other side 
So there are shells all along this side. So it's not really a true bluff. However, um, there is a ledge, probably uh, somewhere between two and three feet of water, and then it goes down to about six to eight feet of water. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this bait over that ledge, um, and the ledge is probably about 10 feet from shore. There we go. Had something hit the bait. Uh, it's probably 10 feet from shore. So if you can get your bait up up, up against the, the bank, kind of pull it out slowly over that um, over that shelf um, or over that ledge. It's been very effective to kind of let it die and let it um, sink down. Um, the fish right now, because the, the sun's pretty high in the sky, um, the fish team seem to have just kind of come down on that ledge to kind of get into deeper water. Um, and uh, as well as the water being going out, you know, I think that's kind of um, pushed them down too. All right, last cast of the day. And I got a little fish. Last cast, huh? Nice. Get some energy out of him real quick. A little puppy drum. Not the monster I was hoping for, but hey, can't complain. Another fish is another fish. popped off right there. All right, so he did my a little extra job for me there. Not bad. About six fish, seven fish, something like that. Um, a lot of variety today um, as far as size. The biggest one being 28 inches with like a notch in his tail is pretty cool. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you like to see more content and you haven't already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, ring the notification bell um, for uh, notifications when we have new videos. So. Thanks again for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.